So today on TurboCAD V12, we're going to be taking a look at uh, some line weight attributes, um, color attributes, and then we're also going to explore um, TurboCAD's Explorer, which is like their version of a library. Um, so we'll start off with just line attributes. Um, if you have something drawn like this, once again, TurboCAD recognizes um, all their drawings or the geometry as entities full solid entities if drawn as in this case a rectangular shape um, I can select that if I double click it will open up their object properties which gives us the option for attributes so you can change your color here um, you can change your pattern of the actual line so style line and then the weight of the line so if you wanted a heavy line um, let's say with a um, blue color, we could change those attributes, apply, exit, and that will change the attributes of that object. Blue, heavier line, apply, close, and then you could do this for arrow starts, arrow ends, so if we wanted an arrow, as you could see, signifying anything, we could do it this way as well. All right, so that's the attributes. Um, let's say we were trying to make this into a mechanical schematic or electrical schematic. Um, TurboCAD has a pretty solid built-in library which is kind of hidden under their um, window and down into TurboCAD Explorer. And what I would do is when this pops up, it pops up kind of small, I expand it pull it to the right and keep it there kind of as a temporary library or full-time library that a lot of other applications will have. Um, under symbols, drag this down. Uh, these are all subfolders with stuff contained in them. So we have electrical, US, ISO, mechanical, process plant and piping. Um, obviously when you expand these, you're gonna get a lot more options. So under electrical, you have all these options. Um, if we go under mechanical, uh, different fasteners, welding symbols, hydraulic and pneumatic, regulators and valves. Um, and then when you find the symbol that you're looking for, it's just as simple as drag and drop and placing. So for instance, um, we'll grab a hydraulic and pneumatic. We'll just grab something in here and we can drag this over and drop that symbol that we can then drag, place as need be, obviously go back into our modify and rotate commands if need be, um, so on and so forth. So that will go ahead and give you different symbols that you can drop into your drawing. Once again, these are just entities that you can double click on, change the attributes, um, delete if need be, uh, so on and so forth. All right, so um, that's where all of their um, library symbols and different components are going to be hidden in TurboCAD.